I, I think Huntington's disease is about the worst imaginable disease. Um, I don't have it in the family. We we hate, we know a lot about cancer, but Huntington's is such a debilitating disease. It affects those who have the disease, of course, and they, they live a long time and they suffer a long time. But it affects those who are at risk in many other different ways. And it affects the caregiver. So it just goes on and on and gets progressively worse and there's no relief. And everyone knows there's no relief. So my father was a brilliant economist and a really good finance guy. And his friend, um, first wife died of Huntington's disease. And so Doug had said to my father, we need a really good finance guy on the board. And I was getting ready to go to college. And my dad said, yeah, I've got time. I don't know much about this disease, but sure, I'll do it. And my father just fell in love with the HD community. And um, just, it was the pride and joy of his life. I'd like to tell people that they should get involved to the extent of understanding how horrible this disease is. Because once you understand that and you're exposed to it, you get hooked. These are people who suffer more than you can imagine. And these are people who, who's suffering in the courageous approach they bring to managing this almost unmanageable suffering is something that is a lesson for every life. That's what I'd like to tell them. My dad was involved in Huntington's from the 90s until his untimely death in 2004. He was a beautiful human being who had a huge heart and had compassion for the world. He was a guy who liked a good turnaround. And I think that from my understanding is that he really turned around the organization from just looking at you know, taking care of patients, which is very important to also really turning it into a research organization and an organization that serves both, both parts. Um, and he was very passionate about that. And I'm very proud of him for that. So he was amazing um, warrior. My name is Kiryong Kim, and I am a medical student at the Harvard Medical School. I first learned about Huntington's disease in a biology class in college, and we very briefly talked about that it was a movement disorder, um, but we didn't talk about hosts of other symptoms that patients with HD have. To apply for the Don King Fellowship Program, uh, we had to submit a research proposal. This funded three months of summer, and it paves the way for committed scientists to work to find a cure for HD. And I think this fellowship is unique in that we get to present our finding not only to other scientists in the field, but to patients and family. And that is ultimately is why I do research is for the patients and families. I think HD researchers are special in how committed they are to patients and families. I have been so inspired by the HD researchers I have met as a student because of their commitment to patients. I learned a lot in how to do good research, but also how to be a good physician to take care of patients and families in the future. It was in the um, late 90s, and my brother didn't really believe in this whole internet dating thing. So he bought me a dating service. And I was like, whatever, and I'll go on a couple of dates. What's the big deal? And David was my first date and my only date. We both lived in the same town. We loved the same things. We loved to kayak. We loved the beach. We, we hiked, we biked. We um, were really 
outdoor activity kind of folk. Um, and then a year later, we got engaged. And a year after that, we got married. I just saw that David was having more and more trouble cognitively. His affect was really flat. Um, I couldn't connect with him emotionally the way that I used to be able to. And I was like, either my marriage is in trouble or there is something really wrong with him. We went to a um, neurologist and she did a test and she said, you know, you're just kind of a quirky, smart guy. Like you can go to the movement specialists in New York if you want to go get it checked out. And, you know, he's in the height of his career. He's doing great. He's in investment banking. You know, we had two small kids. So we kind of blew it off. I knew something neurological was going on. And I was like, there's no flipping way that this is Huntington's.